show you that new technology she was talking about in just a moment. But first, families with the youngest students will see some changes in the Dublin School District starting next school year. Thanks for staying with us at 430. I'm Angela Ann. And I'm Clay Gordon. Right now, Dublin kindergartners go just a half day, either the morning or, or the afternoon. But that's all changing when kindergartners will spend the whole day in class. Can you see the kindergartners running around? No! Right well, parents yes. rejoice. <laughs> yes, exactly. Jenny Vies Colin Dorsey joining us live in Dublin now with much more on this change and the district's explosive growth. Colin? Yeah, this school behind me, this is set to be the latest school added to Dublin City Schools. It's set to open this fall and be the district's 15th elementary school. And when it opens, that also spells full day kindergarten for the next group of Dublin students. We're growing about 375 students per year. Dublin, like many of the suburban districts, is seeing booming growth, calling for new buildings and additions to current ones. Crews are currently working on the new Bishop Elementary. It will welcome young students in the 2025-26 school year. It's the product of the levy voted on last November by Dublin City Schools voters. Part of that other building was a promise to add all day K to all of our buildings. Kindergarten students in Dublin, like those at Hopewell Elementary, either go to class in the morning or the afternoon. But that's quickly becoming a thing of the past, says Superintendent John Marshhausen. We're one of the last districts in Central Ohio to make the transition to all-day kindergarten. Districts have been slowly making that transition in recent years. Upper Arlington schools changed to full-day kindergarten three years ago. Hilliard made the move before that when Marshhausen was leading that district. A study from the University of Pittsburgh shows there are better benefits to full day kindergarten for the short term, helping in first and second grade, but fading off by third grade. When we're full day, we're able to provide art and music and PE and library time. We're also able to provide that science of reading foundation that allows us to get students into those critical skills at an earlier age. Marshhausen says there's also a benefit for those not in school. Full day kindergarten helps cut down on child care costs at a time when child care can be hard to come by. They have to find that half day daycare if they are two working parents or a single parent. So this also allows flexibility for our moms and dads when it comes to a child being on a regular school schedule a year earlier. And Dublin City Schools is also in the middle of a massive redistricting project right now for its elementary and middle schools. With that growth of the student body, they have to make sure that the class sizes are still appropriate and the schools have enough space to accommodate future students. Live in Dublin, Colin Dorsey, 10 TV News. Colin, thank you. And again, Dublin was able to make these changes because of a levy that passed last year. This year, many other school districts are looking to do the same. Those include Bexley, Grandview, Hilliard, and Marysville. Both Grandview and Hilliard say the money will go to building new schools, keeping up with expanding population, and helping the needs of more students. For a complete list of school levies on the ballot this election and some other key issues, just text the word VOTE to 614-460-3345. You'll get a link sent straight to your phone.